I think that you've got to have big ideas, and I think you've got to show that those ideas are meaningful to people and real in their daily lives. I mean, when we talk about ending puppy mills and we connect euthanasia issues to people who love pets and are connected, when we talk about the, the well-being of animals in the food production system, but we also talk about the safety of the foods when animals are overcrowded, they're, they're given antibiotics, and they're given hormones. When I talk about, you know, the violence in society and then say, well, a lot of people started by being violent to animals. I mean, I think it just relates to people's experience. It's not just an abstraction. It's something very real and practical. But, you know, there's no substitute, I think, for, for you know, just getting in front of people and making the case on if this organization didn't exist, what would we be missing in society? And I think, you know, for the World Future Society, more than ever, you know, we're all thinking about what comes tomorrow because we've seen the changes that have been wrought in our society. And I think just really articulating your vision. And then once you have that and you have your, your brand and your vision, then you've got to go out and sell it. You've got to be active sales uh, persons. And obviously your supporters are a big part of that. It can't just be you as the leader or the board members of the organization, they're indispensable, but it's got to be a larger universe of people, which is one of the things we're doing is trying to create 10,000 high-level volunteers at the organization, ambassadors who spread the, spread the ideas. I love that idea. That is, that's exactly, I mean, I think, you know, I, I think that's exactly the way to do it, and I think you are a master at this. And to, to get that advice uh, from you and to have everybody to hear that, that it's all of us and that it's, it can't just, it's not me and it's not just the board people you've seen on stage. It's everybody here that's going to make this organization successful. That's incredible. You know, you, you think about the United States, we have more than a million um, charitable organizations. You know, some of them are, a lot of them are churches or educational institutions, but it's everything that adds up to our civil society. I mean, people cure, working to cure disease and to alleviate poverty and to end homelessness, to end animal cruelty, to protect the environment, I mean, you know, to advance the arts. All of this adds up to the incredible society that we are. I think the, the United States is so distinct in this way. But you take one of those pieces out, there's a hole. I mean, we need all of them. And certainly, for those of us you know, who are kind of slogging and grinding day to day in a fight, we also need to be thinking about what's ahead 20, 30, 50 years. And that's a hard thing. A lot of people don't look past the hood ornament. Yeah. You really want to look down the road. 